So this is a video on a Land Cruiser 200. Um, I had a error code and the, all the lights flash up on the dashboard saying uh, low, high, low fault, uh, VCD fault, uh, vehicle stability control fault. And when I looked up the codes, it was, it said P009D, I think. Um, it was a turbo actuator related issue. And from the YouTube videos I could find and the information I could find, it said to change these here um, actuators, which actuate the turbo um, variable vane. This is the output shaft. It pushes the um, the arm up and down. And you can see without the actual in. And I changed this one. And then I noticed that uh, after a code reset, um, each time I turned the power off, the right side, seeing in the driving direction, the right side, it would um, move and find zero, whereas the left side, it would not move at all. And I didn't like that it didn't move, even though I changed it. I bought these two actuators from AliExpress. <sighs> They're not very expensive compared to what original uh, Toyota turbos cost, because you can't buy the actuators themselves. You have to buy the entire turbo. And that's around, uh, it's 30,000 Danish kroners um, in that vicinity. And that's, um, yeah, I don't know, $5,000, I think. But um, I changed it and it didn't move, even though the other one moved each time you turned the power off. And then I found out that there is a computer for the turbo actuator situated here in the uh, right front inner fender. Um, and behind this inner skirt. And. Um, that was actually the fault because it had been water damaged from corrosion and something like that. Uh, you can see that it's very corroded. Not, um, yeah, well, as soon as I changed that, the error code went away and I decided, well, I already bought one for each side, so I'm going to change each side. Um, now having done it, I know how much work it is, and I can tell you, because no YouTube video actually tells you this. Um, what I had to do in order to gain the necessary access I had, I needed. First, you had to remove the front diff, which is lying over there. Um, to remove that, you have to remove the front wheel bearings, rotors and brakes. And for information, this very nicely falls off. And then you can move this, you don't have to pop this. I used a lot of time on heating this and undoing it, and it wasn't necessary because I could just remove these instead. Remove the front wheel bearings, rotors, and drive shafts, remove the front diff. I then needed to move the, this, which is the uh, intake for the turbo where it gets uh, air from the air filter. And to remove that, I had to remove this. Uh, no, I didn't remove it, I just unbolted it. This is now loose. There is three bolts, one here, and a big one here, and a big one, other one, big one here. And once that was removed, I could move this forward, and I could move this enough so that I could reach the bolts that are sitting up here. Um, there are one there and some other ones up there. When you, if you buy this, you will see where the bolts are. Um, remember this breather hose for the front diff? I, I forgot that, but it just fell off apparently very easily. So uh, it wasn't a problem for me. And yeah, I got that off. There are some shoes and wires you have to remove from this pipe up here front. The other side was a bit more tricky because the inlet 
um, was in the way. So I had to remove the, what do you call that? The intake elbow, it sits on the turbo. And before you could remove that, you had to move this air duct out of the way. And before I could move that, I had to um, unscrew the alternator, which is situated with five fasteners, three bolts and through nut, uh, two, and two nuts and had to be removed. I didn't take it out because I couldn't get it out of the hole, but I got it out enough so that I could move things. Yeah, I got it removed and then by unbolting this and moving cables that were attached to this, I could remove it. I could I could push it forward, the inside pipe for the turbo from the air filter. And up here, I have removed quite a lot of parts as well. In order to gain access, I have some rust here as well that I need to fix. Um, I will fix that as well. I didn't know there was rust there. And the front fender will be removed as well because it's rusted out there. But that is actually what is needed. Yeah, and some parts over here are also um, loosened in order to remove the uh, to move the front air intake hoses because they are in the way for the actuators to be unbolted. But I have didn't actually my actuators were fine. I didn't have any problem with my actuators, but I did have a problem with the computer. But I only found information about that on a Russian site where he had been repairing his Land Cruiser and he actually had this box go faulty. So yeah, that is the enormously huge job of changing these um, actuators and I didn't actually have to change them but a lot of people have had I needed to change this computer it was a lot of money I don't remember but it wasn't very cheap and you can't buy the computers individually you have to buy the set um, I don't remember the part number I can write that in the description if anybody wants it <sighs> yeah and it will um, the air the pressure side of the turbo on both sides are removed as well I forgot to say that. But that's just in order to gain access to the hose and everything else. So yeah, that was what um, needed to be done. But now it is code free. I'm just in the final process of changing this, but it wasn't faulty, so it won't. It didn't have any faults when I started doing this side. So yeah, that was probably the only video on YouTube that actually tells you what you need to do in order to change these parts. I've heard a lot of comments from people saying that you have to remove the engine. It would probably have been a little more work than I, what I've done, but yeah, what would have broken when I took that out. And uh, a big selection of different kind of tens, 10 millimeter and 12 millimeter. What do you call them? I don't remember the name. Different kinds of these, and also these are nice because they go around things and don't take that much room. Yeah.